Welcome, Warrior fans, to the ninth edition of this year's Warrior Wednesday, where we give you an inside look at one of the student athletes at Corbin University. I'm Vitaly Kirichenko, and today we are joined by senior softball player Taylor Alders. Taylor, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Taylor, first question. Talk about your head coach, Abigail Farler, and what's your favorite thing about playing for her? Uh, Coach Farler is just all around like amazing. She brings such intensity to the game and she like encourages us and challenges us to bring the same intensity to the game and practice. Everything that we do, it's really fun to just go out there and bring it your all in everything. Question number two, what brought you into the sport of softball? Um, I guess when I was little, my dad threw me into t-ball when I was starting at the age of four. He bought me my first bat and ball when I was one and a half, so I was swinging since I've been sure. like a year old. Sure. And so got started into baseball and then grew up, kind of realized softball was out there right. with girls. So right. was, when I was eight, I started to join softball and it's been a wild ride ever since. Question number three, what does, in quotations, do it for the family mean to you <laughs> and the Corbin softball team? Well. It all started when uh, Jesse Isham first came on her visit and coach was like telling us like tell her about the team and we all said we're like one giant family. So we found out later that she thought we were liars <laughs> and so we started to like prove our point and it started to grow and grow and sooner or later everybody on the team is related some way or another to each other sure. and it just started to go and this weekend it finally erupted into hashtag do it for the family. <laughs> All right, question number four. If you had a million dollars, what would you spend it on? Um, probably I would buy a lot of puppies because <laughs> puppies are the root of happiness, sure, right? Sure, like, absolutely. <laughs> question number five. If all jobs paid the same, what would you be doing? Um, I think I'd, I'd like to think that I'd still be a teacher. Uh, it's for, really... For it's what a, reason? I love kids. Uh, whenever I explain something and they finally get it, the spark in their eye, right. it's such a good feeling. So working with kids is just... Uh, now, what grade level are you? Um, elementary, so K through five. Now, this is a rapid fire round, so <laughs> all I need is a, is a word or a phrase from you. Right. Nike or Adidas? <laughs> Nike. Favorite food? Oh. Chocolate. Okay. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Introvert or extrovert? Introvert. Dance or sing? Neither. <laughs> I suck at both. <laughs> Are you clean or messy? Clean. Do you like to write essays or take tests? Uh, neither. Like, like which would you prefer, I guess? Um, essays give you more time. Okay. Okay. Early bird or night owl? Definitely an early bird. Okay. Celebrity crush? Oh gosh. Uh, um, Theo James. Okay. And last but not least, your favorite TV show? One Tree Hill. Question number seven, and the last question of this interview. Taylor, what role does your Christian faith play in athletics? Everything. I, I've noticed it more since I've come to college, especially at Corbin, because I went to a public school, so not a lot of my teammates were. But coming here, you realize that it's in everything you do, how you act, how you behave, your sportsmanship, every aspect of the game is affected by your faith. Sure. Taylor, thank you for your time today, and good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you.